Hi guys, my name is Megan Hine. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I make videos on all things eco beauty and today I've got a really exciting haul for you. I picked up a bunch of green beauty products from a shop called Faux Lane. They have an online store and I believe they've got a few retail locations in Boston and possibly New York City. So I basically described their store as Sephora for green beauty, which is awesome. I would love to go down to Boston and check out one of their stores in person. So hopefully I'll be able to do that soon. And if you hear some snoring or weird noises, it's because I got my little puppy on my lap. He can't be more than two feet away from me at all times. So he'll just have to be in this video. Okay, so let's jump right into the haul. I'm gonna go over all the products and let you know what my kind of first impressions are. I've tested these out for about like a week and a half now, so I've got a pretty good idea of what I like and possibly what I would not recommend. Okay, so we're gonna start with RMS Beauty. Um, RMS is one of the more mainstream, natural, non-toxic lines. I believe they sell their products in Sephora and possibly a few other high-end stores. So they are most known for their Uncover Up, which is kind of a concealer, foundation, all-in-one product. While I'm intrigued by the Uncover Up, from what I've read in reviews and just looking at the ingredients, I don't think it would be very well suited to my skin type. I've got very oily, acne-prone skin, and it looks like it's a very oil-heavy product. So if you've got dry skin, it might be great for you. Um, but I was more interested in checking out their Swift Shadows. So they recently came out with a line of powder eyeshadows. They've already got cream ones. Um, but again, I didn't really want to try the cream ones. I thought they would be a little too greasy for my eyelids. So I got three different shades. I've got Enchanted Moonlight, and that's EM64. And this is a beautiful kind of plummy golden toned shadow. Um, really, really pretty. I've also got Garden Rose GR12. And this is a beautiful like rose gold shade. I'm obsessed with these kind of um, shades lately. They look really great on blue eyes, which I don't have, but I still make them work. And the last one I picked up is called Tempting Touch TT73. And this is just kind of a taupey, warm shade. So the numbering system is a little confusing for their eyeshadows. Um, like this one's GR12. This is not called Garden Rose. It's in the Garden Rose line in its shade number 12. Um, so they've got a few different shade families and then colors within. Okay, so I am going to try to swatch these for you. I am terrible at on-camera swatches, so we'll see how this goes. Uh, let me know if you want better pictures. I can put them on Instagram or on my website, www.meganheimbeauty.com. Shameless plug. Okay, so starting from this side, this is the Enchanted Moonlight 64, and then in the center I've got Tempting Touch 73, and on this end I've got Garden Rose 12. So they're really beautiful shades. Um, they've got a ton of different colors and undertones. Um, they can be used wet or dry. I guess if you use them wet, the color is way more intense and has a bit more glow to it. I've just been using them dry. They're pretty pigmented. You know, they're not like a straight mineral eyeshadow like my Silk Naturals where one little dip in, you get some serious color payoff. You do have to kind of work these up, but you get a really nice subtle wash of color that can be built up. So even though they're powder, they just feel so creamy and luxurious when you're applying them. And they have fairly good staying power. Um, I wore them to a wedding I was at the other day and I didn't get any creasing. It was super hot out and they held up pretty well. Um, because they're nice and creamy, they're very easy to blend. So I highly recommend these Swift eyeshadows. I searched far and wide for reviews or videos about these shadows, and there's really not a lot out there, and I don't know why. Um, perhaps because RMS has other products that are just more popular, but these are not to be missed. So they're not the cheapest shadows on the market. They are 20 bucks a piece. 
Um, but I think if you found like three colors, maybe like a really light one, a medium tone, and a dark one like I did, you could really create a lot of different looks. If you've tried these, let me know. I want to know like what other shades are good. Yeah, so RMS Swift Shadows, big hit for me. So next up from RMS, I got their Signature Set Pop Collection. And this is basically like a little travel size of some of their uh, most popular products. Oh, hi, Quinn. Oops, someone wants to see what's going on. All right. Um, so I didn't like clean any of these products beforehand because we're doing this in real life. Okay, so this is what the signature set looks like. It's all cream products. Um, so up here you have their Magic Luminizer. You've got their Cream Buriti Bronzer. And then here are two Lip to Cheek products, which they say you can essentially use anywhere on your face. Um, gives you some cheek color. You can use them on your lips. Pretty versatile. This is, this pinky one is Beloved. And then the red is Demure. And then there's just a lip balm at the bottom. This is their Simply Vanilla Lip and Skin Balm. So I thought this was a great way to try out a bunch of their products at once. I couldn't commit to buying um, one of their lip to cheeks. I just, I had never tried them before. So I didn't want to buy uh, one full size of each. So the signature set costs $44, which I do think is a bit overpriced. Um, but that's just because I'm stingy. <laughs> okay, so let's go over the swatches. I've got the Magic Luminizer on this end. Then the Buriti Bronzer. The red is Demure. Is that Demure? Yep. And the pink is Beloved. So I love the Magic Luminizer. It's a really pretty champagne cream highlight. I used it today on the tops of my cheekbones, inner corner of my eyes, and just a little bit on my nose. Oh, and a little bit on my Cupid's bow. Really like the Magic Luminizer. Um, that is something I would recommend purchasing the full size of. I think they've got a few other luminizing products, but this shade is just, it's really nice. It's like a warm champagne, so I think it would look great on all skin tones. I don't love the cream bronzer. Something about the shade, it's just kind of off. So the bronzer has like super reddish undertones, which just don't really look great on me. I've got kind of olive undertones, so when I naturally get tan, it's like a true golden deep tan. Um, I don't know, this shade just, it's too warm to use as a contour and just doesn't really look natural on me as a bronzer. It's also not that pigmented, so I don't know. I don't think that one would be worth the full price, um, so yeah. For me, the bronzer's a miss. Okay, so now onto the cream blushes. Um, I'm kind of so-so on them. They're nice. I'm glad I didn't purchase a full size. I'll continue to use both shades. The red is like a really nice um, candy apple color. It's a little more sheer, and then the pink is like a true cool bubblegum pink, and that one is a little more pigmented and opaque. Um, they blend nicely. They don't have great color payoff. Um, I don't like either shade on my particular lips, but they do look nice on the cheeks. So the full size of the lip to cheek products are $36, which is pretty steep for a cream blush in my opinion. Um, for what they are, I don't think they're worth the price. I love my Silk Naturals cream blushes. Honestly, I think they're more pigmented and yeah, way cheaper. <laughs> I don't regret purchasing this set. I'll definitely use it. It's great for travel. Um, but like I said, I probably won't be buying most of these items in the individual full size. Okay, so now on to the Ilia products. Um, I have tried Ilia once before. I have one of their lipsticks called Madame Mina, and it's like hands down one of my favorite shades ever. So I was super excited to get my hands on some of their other lip products. And I also got an eyeliner. So I'll start by talking about that. This is, oops. So this is their Pure Eyeliner in Havana Affair. And it's, um, it's a really interesting color. It's like a super, super deep, deep, deep brown, almost black um, with kind of golden, 
greenish undertones. So it's not as harsh as black, um, so I really do like the color. Okay, so I'll swatch it for you. You're not gonna really be able to tell the shade, um, but as you can see, it's not like a, a jet black color. It is one of these little twist up eyeliners, super convenient, you'd never need to sharpen it. Thoughts on the pure eyeliner. I really like the shade. It's very creamy, easy to blend. Um, it's not the longest lasting eyeliner on me personally. I have very oily eyelids um, and my eyes happen to be hooded. So basically anytime I use a creamy eyeliner, it transfers onto my lids. But I do really like it. I found it pretty hard to find good quality, long lasting eyeliners in the natural green beauty world. So I think it is a fairly good option. But like I said, it's definitely not waterproof. It's not gonna last you all night. All right, now on to lip product. All right, first up, I've got one of their, okay, they call it a lipstick crayon. This is the shade Dress You Up. It's what I have on my lips right now. Beautiful, beautiful shade. Um, let me try a sad attempt at swatching. Okay, their products are so pigmented, moisturizing. Um, they don't really have any sort of scent. It's a beautiful rosy tone, um, very opaque, creamy, moisturizing lip crayon. Uh, very easy to apply on the go. It's not matte at all. Um, it's kind of faded a bit on my lips and just even when it fades, it leaves you with a really nice flush of color. If your skin is more fair than mine is, this might be pretty bold on you, but it's still super pretty for spring and summer. Uh, one thing I want to mention, I've had this only for like a few weeks and it was just my makeup bag. The packaging is already starting to wear down. Um, yeah, this like silver brushed color is kind of just wearing off. Something to just keep in mind. It doesn't affect the product at all, but I don't know, I would have hoped for sturdier packaging. So I bought one of their lipsticks and then one of their tinted lip conditioners. Their lipsticks and their lip conditioners come in these really nice metal bullets, basically. Um, these are way sturdier than the lip crayon. I think this lid is just plastic, whereas these are metal. I don't know, they just feel super luxe. So the lipstick I got is in the shade Neon Angel. It's a super, super pigmented, bright pink fuchsia lipstick. I love this shade. If you are not afraid of essentially neon lips, you're gonna love this. Let me swatch it for you. And it's actually not showing up as bright on this camera, um, but if you check out my Instagram, I have a photo where I'm wearing this um, to a wedding that I went to the other day. And it's a really creamy formula. I would say the finish is kind of like a satin matte um, definitely not a full matte lip, although you can tone down the shine with like a piece of tissue or a napkin or something. Um, and it's also not super shiny. Oh, one thing I want to mention about their lipsticks, they don't make my lips peel. I know that sounds really weird, but if you have the same problem, you know what a struggle it is. So many lipsticks, especially conventional ones, um, make my lips peel. This one basically feels like you're applying a chapstick. Super nice, love the Ilia lipsticks. Okay, now the other lip product I picked up is their lip conditioner. Um, I feel like lip conditioner is kind of a misleading name for these products. They are pretty pigmented, so I don't know, I would call them like, I'd still consider this a lipstick. So that's the Blossom Lady right there. So a little more sheer than their lipsticks, um, but still really good color payoff. This color, unfortunately, is a touch too light for my skin tone. It's a beautiful shade, absolutely, don't get me wrong. Um, it's a really pretty rosy color. It just is lighter than my natural lip color, and I just, I don't do well with light lipsticks. I think this would be really great um, for people who are a bit lighter than I am, especially for brides, I think this would be a really pretty bridal color. Okay, so those are the products I got from Folane. Um, I just have a few other products I wanted to throw in here while I'm doing this. 
Um, the first is an eyeshadow. This is by a company called Han Skincare Cosmetics. It's an all-natural eyeshadow. I had never heard of this brand before. This came in my last Petivore box. The shade is called Sunset. And my arm is like tinted from all the swatches. It's a really, you can't really see it, okay. It's a really pretty peachy color. It actually pairs very well with Garden Rose from RMS. Let me just hold the two up side by side so you can see them. I haven't used this a bunch yet, but I really like it. Um, very, very soft feeling. Doesn't feel quite as luxurious as the RMS eyeshadows, but still a really nice option. And sorry, I just realized I forgot to give you guys prices for the Ilia products, and I actually don't know how much this eyeshadow costs. Um, so I'm just going to put all the prices and links to the products below. All right, so last but not least, I have Hint Beauty Duet Concealers in the shade Medium and Tan. So I have a full review on the Hint Beauty Concealers. They're absolutely amazing. They're so pigmented. Um... And just really nice undertones as well they're pretty neutral I use them on my under eye and all over my face I always love getting two shades of concealer um, just because my under eye is significantly lighter than say my forehead so I basically just mix and match and do like a custom blend yeah they come in uh, like a nice frosted glass jar this actually without the lid looks just like the RMS on cover-up here is medium and then I've got tan over here. So one thing I want to mention is uh, the consistency in the full size that I received is very different from the sample I received. The samples were like really, really creamy and like wet almost, whereas this is a much thicker kind of balm-like texture. Um, so if anyone from Hint Beauty is watching, if you don't mind just like commenting below, um, it's not an issue or anything like that. I'm just curious if like this is a new formulation or something. The pigmentation seems to be the same. It's just as opaque um, and blendable, really creamy. The colors match my samples that I got. Uh, just the texture is different. I don't know. I've actually got my sample of um, the Duet Concealer in Tan here. I'm just going to hold it up. I don't know if you can see, but it's it's like a very wet, creamy consistency. Like this is something that you could squeeze out of a tube, whereas the full size is like very, very thick. So really, really different. I don't know what's going on with that. Just thought I'd give you guys a heads up in case you've tried the samples and you're expecting this texture and you really love this consistency. It's not what you're gonna get in the full size. Oh, uh, real quick makeup details. Um, I am wearing, I'm wearing Dress You Up on my lips. Um, I've mixed both of the cream blushes from this palette on my cheeks and just set it with a powder blush. And then for my eyes, like I said, I've got all three of the RMS shadows with a little bit of the Han, um, just kind of towards the center corner of my eye. I am wearing the Pure Eyeliner in Havana Affair, and of course, I have Hint Beauty Duet Concealer to cover everything up. And foundation, I'm wearing 14E Cosmetics Aloe Nourish Foundation in 5.5 Chai. This, as of now, is my holy grail natural foundation. So anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want a more in-depth review on any of the products you saw today. And anyway, until next time, bye guys.